we must always understand and appreciate the numbers and the statistics. Clearly, um, the perception of the Niger Delta region is far, far, far from the reality. And we are dealing to a large extent with, a, with an image problem. There is no city in any of the Niger Delta states that has as high a crime rate as the Bronx. It's very unlikely that there will ever be any city that will have as high a crime rate as the Bronx or many other towns. There are no warnings to anyone saying, do not visit the Bronx. You visit the Bronx at your peril. We all appreciate that, but there are no official warnings. And these are some of the issues that we need to address as government deliberately. The stereotyping of a region that has tremendous prospects and a region that still has huge investments of petrodollars coming from outside the country. It is still the largest in foreign investment in Nigeria is still coming into this region in spite of the warnings. There's a contradiction there and these are things that we must address and we must challenge those numbers. We must put the facts on the table. Okay. What is the crime rate in the Niger Delta region? Okay. Nobody here is getting killed. If you come to Cross River State, certainly this governor does not use a siren, neither does he have a convoy of cars. He mingles with his people. So I think there are a number of things that relate more to perception than to anything else. That we must address, and I think that this conference or this summit provides us with an opportunity to bring some of these issues to the fore. Yes, we certainly haven't gotten it 100% right, but we must appreciate that we, are, we have an economy that would be the pride of any other economy in Africa. And how do we now translate that into opportunity for our people? The perception that government has responsibility for our economy is on its own not going to deliver that utopia that we're looking for. The private sector, in combination with government, must deal with the issues, including the issue of perception. Because the fact of the matter is that there are tremendous prospects and opportunities that are being taken advantage of. There are nations, there are individuals in Western economies that have become billionaires from this economy, irrespective of the perception of violence and threat. So indeed, I believe that we must comprehensively and meaningfully address the perception issue and address the issues that truly will lead to the growth and development of the economy.